Now, Parliament will continue with the process to determine whether President Sul Ramaphosa was correct in firing senior prosecutors Namko Bujiba and Lawrence Mkwebu. Ramaphosa sacked the duo following the recommendations of the Mukoro report. The President referred his decision to Parliament for approval. Jiba's lawyers are asking the Speaker to halt the process pending a legal review. She's asking the court to set aside the report. Joining us now, live from Parliament, is my colleague Lindsay Dentlinga. Lindsay, very good morning. Just to bring our viewers up to speed, uh, is this the start of this parliamentary process? Uh, uh, or how far are they from uh, reaching a conclusion whether or not to rubber stamp the decision by the President following the Mkhoro report to get rid of Namtko Bojiba and Lawrence Mkhwebe? Good morning, Dan. Well, this process should really have been concluded quite uh, a while back. You know, the president uh, sent that letter to Parliament back in April already, informing Parliament that uh, he had decided to fire those two advocates based on the Makoro inquiry. Uh, but because of the change in Parliament, the elections, the recess, uh, this matter has been uh, hanging in abeyance uh, for a while. Uh, when the Justice Committee last met just before the recess uh, about three weeks ago, uh, they had already started on the process, and that was to give both advocates Nongkobo Jiba and Lawrence Pukwebi 10 working days to uh, provide written submissions to uh, the Justice Committee, um, both Justice Committees, I should add, both of the uh, National Council of Provinces and of the National Assembly, as to why they should be reinstated in their jobs. It's my understanding that Nongkobo Jiba has not done so because she has, as you've mentioned, launched that court application application um, in which she had hoped that Parliament would stop this process. But the chairperson of the Justice Committee, quite unequivocal that Parliament's not stopping the process. They don't want to be found uh, to have fallen foul of the law, which says Parliament should take a decision on this matter within 30 days or as close to uh, that amount of time as possible. And uh, he has indicated yesterday already that he wants to report back to the National Assembly by the 3rd of September. So so they um, are expected to consider uh, any written submissions that were made to the committee uh, later this morning. Okay, and the Jiba's lawyers, do we expect them in Parliament or this is just taking part among the MPs themselves in that uh, Justice Committee? Correct. Uh, the committee decided previously that it wasn't necessary for any oral evidence from either of the advocates or any of their legal team. They really don't want to rehash the process. Uh, they say there's enough uh, evidence was heard from all sides in the Mahora inquiry, and their job is not to uh, go through that whole process again. They really just have to consider any submissions from the two advocates as to why they should be reinstated in their job and whether the president took the right decision uh, to fire them and so they're not wanting to open that whole process uh, all over again. Now very briefly Lindsay, the Justice Committee uh, deals with other matters. Is this the only one that they're currently uh, seized with? No. Well, um, Dan, this Justice Committee, if I can uh, say so, of all the, the committees that have, uh, are still in the process of re-establishing themselves, of induction, of orientation uh, post uh, the, this, the induction of the Sixth Parliament, this is really the committee that's uh, had to hit the ground running. As we know, they've got another pending matter involving the public protector, the DA's request to uh, determine her fitness to hold office. That is something they also need to get to uh, fairly urgently. And then they, there's also the matter of a new deputy uh, uh, public uh, protector. Kevin Malunga's uh, contract ends in uh, December. Parliament has to start that process of inviting nominations for new candidates and making um, uh, representations to the president as to who that should be. So they really have a lot of work on their plate in the next few weeks. Uh, Parliament's only just uh, starting business again today after the recess. Uh, so this is a committee with a lot on their plate. It's back to business in Parliament. Thank you very much, Lindsay Dendlinger, outside Parliament there in Cape Town.